Hi friends, I'm Dr. Funke Afolabi Brown. I'm the founder of Restful Sleep MD. Today I'm going to be talking about a few ways to fix our sleep schedule. So you may have heard things like, you know, my sleep is out of whack or, you know, you yourself may be experiencing this inconsistency, really having no clue when you're going to fall asleep and, you know, just really your sleep seems to be free flowing. And what we know is it's important to have a set or sort of, you know, consistent sleep schedule and the reason why is because one it improves our overall sleep um, it improves your sleep wake cycle which then improves your daytime wellness helps with improvement in your memory in your mood in your immune system and if we don't have a, a consistent sleep schedule, what that can lead to is sleep deprivation. And if you have sleep deprivation, that can lead to anxiety, that can lead to memory problems, it can lead to depression, it can lead to a whole lot of mental health issues and can actually contribute to insomnia, which is then a whole disorder that you need to you know, be seen to be treated for. So I have a few at steps or a few tips to help set your sleep schedule i'll come out I'll, I'll tell you seven of them they're very easy they're very practical and you can actually start tonight the first is consistency right consistent sleep time and wake time essentially entrains or makes sure your circadian rhythm which is that internal clock make sure that's in line or in sync with your environment and so your your it's you're training your circadian rhythm when you have a consistent sleep time and wake time so it's important to set that then number two would be ensuring you have enough sleep opportunity so of course you may have heard you need seven to nine hours of sleep now that is different from everybody and i have a video where i talk a lot about how you can figure out what your number of hours of sleep you need is the important thing is how much sleep do you need to keep you alert awake and energized during the day when you're not dependent on caffeine and so it may be seven it may be nine but when you're talking about sleep opportunity even if you're someone who only needs seven hours that doesn't mean you're starting your bedtime routine at the seven hour mark okay so you need to give yourself opportunity so creating a buffer of about 30 minutes to one hour to make sure there's enough opportunity for you to get seven hours of sleep number three is make changes slowly so if you're someone who has not had a regular sleep week schedule and your sleep has sort of drifted and it's kind of free flowing you need to make changes gradually. Rome was not built in a day. So the way I recommend doing that is shifting by about 15 minutes, depending on where the issue is. If you're having difficulties waking up in the morning where you're falling, you're missing work or you're sleeping in, then starting with setting uh, a, a, a ways a wake time and then shifting slowly to where that ideal wake time is. So if you're waking up at 8 30 a.m okay and your plan or your goal is to be waking up at 7 a.m for instance then you want to move that wake up time from 8 30 to 8 15 and then after a few days from 8 15 to 8 a.m and then to 7 15 and 7 a.m so you're not making these changes too suddenly you would need accountability you may need an alarm clock and we talk about some ways to make sure your day gets jump started quickly which is in a different video then the fourth thing is you want to avoid naps as much as possible. Again, if you've had this issue where your sleep schedule is really all over the place, it may be that you're taking a nap and you may be taking that nap so late in the day that it's making it hard for you to build up enough sleep pressure to be able to fall asleep at an appropriate time at night. So I would eliminate naps. If you need to take a nap, you want to make sure you're not napping after about 1 p.m. and you make it short and sweet. Limit it to about 15 to 20 minutes if you need a nap. Now, if you have insomnia and it's hard for you to fall asleep at night then do not take any nap because that would only make things worse and the next thing is exercise regularly and the reason why we do that is a lot of reasons one is exercise improves your mood um exercise increases your slow wave sleep so that's the high quality deep restorative sleep that we get and exercise actually improves um, the production of serotonin, which is a hormone 
that's produced by our body and helps with our sleep wake cycle so if you if you exercise well you actually get better sleep so that's something that i think is really good what i would what i would say though is try to avoid very intense vigorous exercise about two hours or so before bedtime because then you're hot your you know your heart rate is high and you have this adrenaline surge and so that ne will not necessarily promote sleep but definitely incorporate exercise into your routine as much as possible daily would be perfect and then the other benefit of exercise like you say is when you go outside you're exposing yourself to light which is also helpful for your circadian rhythm the sixth thing is maintain healthy sleep habits and so there's a whole lot of things going on under there making sure you're not drinking caffeine too late making sure that you're limiting devices making sure that you have a bedtime routine that helps you sort of unwind and making sure that you maintain consistency as well i have another video that's on um, healthy sleep habits and how to incorporate them which i'm going to include in the show notes and then the last but not the least is know that an ideal sleep schedule, a perfect sleep schedule does not exist. OK, what is an ideal sleep schedule is what you need to maintain good health, to maintain good function and what's suitable for you and your lifestyle. So listen, if you don't have to go to work till later on in the day and you feel like your ideal schedule has you going to bed at 12 midnight and waking up at 8 a.m that is fine find what works for you and stick to it don't try to adopt somebody else's because we all have different needs we all have different what you call chronotypes which really helps us know whether we're morning we're night owls or we're morning people and so find that schedule that's suitable to your needs socially to your needs physically to your needs emotionally and i think that's the balance now if you've tried all that you've been working on fixing your sleep schedule and you really have so much sort of dysregulation in your sleep then that may be time to see a sleep specialist and to speak to your doctor so they can talk to they can help connect you with the right resources definitely i'm available to help and what i do is i help busy professional moms like you prioritize sleep and i go through step-by-step -step strategies of tackling what their sleep issues are and then we're addressing it one after the other and one of the things i help do is create a sleep schedule that works for you you. It's really a tailor-made program. The best way to connect with me would be to go through um, my website, which is restfulsleepmd.com. That's attached in the link. So I hope this has been helpful. Again, you can have that sleep schedule that's suitable for you, that helps you to thrive and live your fullest potential. I would love it if you share this video, if you like it for sure, and also you subscribe to my channel. So when new content comes up, you will be the first to know. And so until next time, I hope you rest well.